what would you do if your only camera or your main camera broke and you have a client shoot the following day? Or how would you feel if your newest and shiniest toy that you only had for two weeks unfortunately broke? In this video, I will share with you my horrific experience and what I have learned from it so that if ever that you experience this as well, hopefully not, you would know what to do. Hi, my name is Paolo and I am starting YouTube content creator based here in the Philippines. In this video, I will be sharing with you how it happened and the first three things that you should be doing if in case it happens to you and what I have learned so far based on this experience. I'll be sharing with you my top five. Please do take note that uh, the perspective of this video is coming from a beginner photographer or a content creator. I am not yet a professional as of now and I will not be sharing with you what the professionals say because those are very obvious. So all of the, the perspective of this video is for someone who is just starting out. So if you are just like me, then this video is for you. However, if you are a professional already, I do hope that you can stick around because I want to learn from you. If you have comments, if you have suggestions on what you can do next or based on your own experience, if ever that it happened to you already in the past, what you can, what you can suggest as well. April 17, around 8 p.m., I was already preparing for a client photo shoot the following night. I am using the PGY Tech One Go Air Backpack 20 liters and I placed it on the table, or I thought I did, until I heard a thud. When I opened the camera bag, the camera and the lens was split into two, and that was the most horrific or painful sight that I have ever saw or witnessed. After coming down, I called uh, my client and I called the studio, explained to them what happened. And, you know, fortunately, they were very kind enough uh, to offer to just reschedule the photo shoot uh, when my camera is already fixed. So, the following day, I brought the camera to Fuji Film Philippines and I had it repaired. Um, Based on the initial assessment, uh, the receptionist mentioned that the camera body is actually okay, but the lens will really take some time because what happened was the electronic contact on the lens uh, was split into two. So I don't see, or I'm not hoping that you know the lens will come back anytime soon. Um, still, I left the camera with a receptionist to have it really assessed. And after a week or so, I came back and they're right, the camera, is really okay i just paid like 200 pesos or that's about five dollars for the servicing fee and as i mentioned the lens will take longer and after a week or so they came back and they gave me an initial quote that for me to have it repaired it's gonna cost me around twenty-five thousand or roughly 460 uh dollars us dollars to to have it repaired so I will pause on this piece of the story because the next things that happen will be part of what I will be sharing with you on the things that I have learned from this experience. So here are the top three immediate things that you should do if in case it happens to you as well. Tip number one is you need to know the nearest camera uh, and lens rental place from your place. So it's very obvious uh, if in case it happens to you as well, at least you know uh, a place where you can rent a camera uh whether it's a camera or a lens for backup purposes save it to your phone have it handy and of course check on them time, uh, from time to time so you would know the availability of your uh, preferred equipment and by the way I, I mentioned preferred equipment because if ever that it happens to you and th the same camera is not available just be prepared to use another camera of a different system so it's, it's good to familiarize yourself uh, with other brands. So just in case it happens, you know how to operate another camera. Number two is seek help from your fellow photographers. So luckily, just like all other jobs, photography, videography, and or content creation is a community. For sure, there will be people who will be willing to help you out. So you can pass on your current client to them. And you know, who knows in the future, they might do the same thing for you. So it's helping uh, each other out. Tip number three is to call your client and explain the situation. Once you have done tip number one and tip number two, you would now have more uh, options to share with them. So just like what I did, um, I already explained to them what happened. So they have options either to reschedule, I can refer them to another photographer, 
or you know I could just I hate to say this but I could you know, refund their money and they choose the first one so thank you so much for that one I would not name the name of the client because he prefers not to but thank you for understanding now with that out of the way here are the top five things that I learned from that experience so first one is to always have a consistent professional behavior and that means taking care of your equipment all the time every time i know a lot of people uh, take for granted how they place where they place their equipment but knowing that this already happened i'm sure you wouldn't want to have to have this happen to you as well so please be mindful of where you put your equipment because these are our <laughs> treated as our babies tip number two is to evaluate your equipment or I'm, I'm gonna talk to myself, Paolo, you need to evaluate the equipment that you're using. Uh, for context, I do have three lenses, the 16-55 to zoom, which I'm filming on, the 23mm Mark II, which is the one that broke, and the 56 Mark II as well. And often than not, I have just been using the 16-55 to uh, for YouTube videos, both for talking head videos just like these, and also when I take the camera out to film some videos. I also bring the 56 1.2 because the way I shoot portraits whenever I'm with my partner, I use that lens for the creamy background blur. And the 23, even though it's the lightest and the smallest out of the three, I really haven't been using that. It's not that I don't like how the image looks like, but you know what I really have just observed is 80 to 90 percent of the time this zoom lens is the one that's glued to my bit uh, to my camera and i just take out the 56 whenever me and my partner wants to have pictures of ourselves um so th that's the first one um given that i kind of know already my pattern in terms of using my equipment second one is to consider other options or third-party options I actually did start with the Viltrox 23mm lens and I just traded that <laughs> uh, to go with the 23mm of Fuji. But now that it's gone, I'm if ever that I will be buying another cap another lens, sorry about that, I would either go with the third party, which is the Viltrox 27 f1.2 or also the Veltrox 13mm f1.4. Both of those lenses have very good reviews. It may not be as 100% in terms of you know the, the quality, uh, the overall quality of the lens because the, the Fuji, the new Fuji lens is a linear motor lens, so it's really fast. But if ever I need to buy one, I'm really, um, I'm most likely in leaning towards the 13 millimeters f1.4 because i'm gonna be using that for my vlogs or for my talking head videos way more aside from that is uh, related to my to evaluate my equipment is also invest in a good camera bag so let's be realistic here if you are starting you won't have the funds to buy that peter mckinnon bag or that peak design everyday backpack or travel bag what have you but F try to find a middle ground there are lots of you know travel bags and don't limit yourself to camera bags as long as you can it can keep your equipment you know safe and sturdy you're good with that one i think i honestly think the pgy tech is okay it's just that i really just you know i really just wasn't mindful of where i placed it that's why it fell Last but not the least, and this is very obvious, is to invest or start investing on a backup camera. As I mentioned, we are beginner photographers and most likely we don't have that budget yet for another camera. But little by little, start saving up for one. Aside from renting a camera or borrowing a camera, nothing beats having you know a secondary camera as a backup. So who knows in the future, you know, if ever that I become successful. And I'm praying that I will be if ever that I need to get one more camera most likely I'll be keeping this Fujifilm X-H2S number one <laughs> as a backup camera and number two you know it's memories it's sentiments because I started with this camera but having this camera always available at hand if ever something happens is an additional peace of mind for me Last but not the least, major tip is to get insurance protection. Here in the Philippines, honestly, I do not know of any insurance protection organizations or agencies 
that offer protection for camera and lenses. I know in the US there are lots and all other countries there are tons, but here in the Philippines there isn't none. But if you do know or if you can recommend of some, please do let me know and I'll be more than happy to get an insurance because this is definitely a headache and I don't want this to happen again to me or to anyone else. So please, uh, these are 200 plus thousand equipment plus 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 let's take care of it guys so i sincerely hope that you did not experience this horrific experience that i had you know just last month i do hope that either one uh you prevent it from happening and if ever that unfortunately you are in this video because it happened to you at least i was able to help you out or give you suggestions on what you can do immediately uh in this scenario uh once again, if you find this video helpful, I do uh, uh, appreciate it if you could hit a like and of course, subscribe to my channel, guys. Uh, also, uh, before I forget, if you are a seasoned photographer or content creator coming across this video, I would really love to hear it from you. How do you handle these kinds of situations? Please leave a comment on the comment section and I'll be more than happy to read that. And for sure, I will be learning from you. So that's it guys. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.